I can get a 12% yield somewhere, but it means the company's probably going out of business. How far down the risk spectrum are you willing to go? Yeah, call it what you will. We're in a new world. I mean, just think about even with yields coming off today on the 10-year yield, a 3.7% yield on the 10-year was almost unthinkable a couple of years ago. And it really left absolutely no alternative, especially with most debt around the world negative, than equities. Well, the world has changed. And we're likely going to be in a period of higher rates for longer, a complete reversal of the lower or longer language we've used over the last decade. And what that means is you're going to have to be a little bit more selective when it comes to picking stocks. So what worked over the last decade in a period of a Goldilocks economy with low volatility, low rates, loose labor markets was growth. And essentially, you wanted to buy growth and innovation at any price. Well, now you got to focus on a couple of different things. Profitability matters again. We're going to be in an environment with shorter market cycles. You're going to need profitability and company resilience to navigate that environment. And dividends, yield, it matters again. Dividends do really well in periods of market uncertainty, especially in periods of inflation. You go back to the 1970s, you go back to the 1940s, choppy markets, high inflation. Dividend yield was about 60 to 70 percent of the total equity. Is this the 1970s all over again, Mike? Please say it's not. I mean, I love ACDC, but the market stunk, (laughs) didn't do anything for 10 years. I'm hoping it's not the 1970s. I actually think it feels a little bit more than like the 1940s, a period where you had major supply disruptions, a shift in the economy from a war economy back to a normal economy, and it led to fits and starts. So there's still opportunity for equities. We think particularly within the equity space, more defensive-oriented areas of the market, consumer staples like General Mills, uh, you look at parts of the healthcare sector like Johnson & Johnson, or even utilities like Duke Energy. These are places where you can still get two and a half to almost four percent dividend yields, equity market participation. And these are the types of companies that are going to be rewarded if equity market uncertainty continues. If you think it's the more like the 1940s, I'm just waiting for Brian to say his favorite musical artist from the 1940s. But in the meantime, Mike, Duke Ellington, you're, next. You're, you're the thank you for that, Brian. You're the second guest in two days to suggest that General Mills is a, a good play right now. I'm curious, even though it's a consumer staple, even though people have to eat and they want to eat their Cheerios or whatnot, are you at all concerned that consumers, especially at the lower end, are going to begin choosing, say, store brands and that the conventional wisdom about these safe plays may not hold? It's, it's a great question, and it's something that has to be watched extremely closely. Look, the reason things like utilities and staples tend to rally is because they tend to be a little bit more inelastic, right? People tend to have to eat. But to your point, they can choose what they eat. So it's going to be very important to focus on earnings and profitability and make sure that companies that are able to either pass through some of those inflation cost to the consumer. As of right now, it looks like that's holding firm. But again, that's something we're going to have to watch very closely. And again, why profitability matters a lot more today than it did over the last couple of years. Mike LaBella, it's good of you to join us. Thank you for the advice. Appreciate it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.